Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video it will be a little different. I wanted to show you how an Italian girl makes pizza and we're gonna do this later in the video. But since I have lots of things to do today, I thought that it will be fun uh, to share this with you guys. Not sure if you like these kinds of video, but let's give it a try. So first of all, coffee. It's one of my favorite moments of the day. And since today it's a pretty busy day, I'm going to plan everything that I have to do so I can track everything and then I have some work to do on my laptop, need to find some documents, have to edit a video, our bedroom is a mess so I really need to clean it, I also need to clean my yoga mat, make pizza of course, make lunch, do yoga and and I wanted to go to the booth to take some asparagus but I really don't think that I have enough time today. Ah, and of course, all of the things that I wanted to track on my bullet journal, if you have seen my last video. So yeah, let's start with breakfast. <laughs> my coffee usually is three big ice cubes. Then we're gonna put creamer. Can't do this with the camera. <laughs> okay. And then two shots of espresso. And then we're gonna put some water. And here we have my coffee. This is all but an Italian thing. <laughs> So this is the breakfast. I have some toasted bread, butter, strawberry jam, strawberries and cacao powder. So now I'm going to enjoy this, enjoy my coffee and make some computer stuff. Okay, now it's time to tackle this room. Wish me luck. Okay, was not too bad. We just have this situation here <laughs> where we have all of our wedding stuff because since we didn't get married the last year due to this virus everything was put aside and now we hope to get married in th three months less than three months we didn't know yet i don't know if in italy you can get married at the moment i don't think so so we will see what happened for now everything that i show you need to stay there we will go through that next month i'll keep you update and now let's go make some pizza so all we need is 500 grams of flour uh, 300 milliliters of lukewarm water uh, two tablespoons of, of olive oil, one pinch of salt, and these are 25 grams of brewer's yeast. And that's all. So first thing to do, we are gonna melt the brewer's yeast into the lukewarm water. Then we're gonna take our flour, put it on the table, and then we're gonna do whoop, like a fountain. We're gonna put a pinch of salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. One and two. Then we're gonna melt this. Okay, and when everything is melted, we're gonna add it 
here. And with our hands, we're gonna do circular, slow circular motion. <laughs> If this goes well, we don't need the other hand. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take our bowl, put a little bit of flour inside. Put our pizza. <laughs> we're gonna cover it. Okay, now we're gonna put it somewhere warm. And I didn't have my kitchen scale today, so the flour was not enough. But if you follow the instruction and you put five. 500 grams of flour and 300 milliliters of water, it will be okay. I do this not every week, but pretty much, and every time it, it goes well. Just not sure if I want to put this outside or in the oven. Hmm. And we're gonna left it for, it's 11 a.m., eight hours, more or less. Hello, I'm down here. <laughs> uh, so just before um, I start my yoga practice, I wanted to clean uh, my yoga mat because it's been six years that I have it and I never clean it. And this is pretty gross. So the other day I bought this, um, can you see it? Yeah, this yoga mat spray from Decathlon and I check on internet how to use it, so now we are gonna see if this works. On the internet it says to... And then with a damp cloth we are gonna like, do this. The smell is really, really good. <laughs> I'm just not sure how much of this I need to put. Don't think too much. Let's try. This smells amazing. It's very clean and floral. I love it. So while we wait for it to dry, I am going to change to my yoga clothes. Just finished yoga, I'm gonna take a shower. Here we are, just put some makeup on. Uh, I forgot that I have to go take some documents, so we're gonna do this now and then we're going to come back and check our pizza. So guys, all of the paper thing that I have to do was completely unsuccessful. I'm a little stressed out because when I have something on my to-do list, I really need to cross it off and today is not the case because tomorrow morning i have to do everything that i need to do today and i really don't like when it's this way but 
we need to embrace it we need to embrace it so now it's 4 p.m. and I really need to relax a little bit Jorge will be home in one hour and a half more or less and so can't wait for him to come back ah oh, so guys I decided that I'm gonna make myself a smoothie because I really need something to cheer me up <laughs> bureaucracy is a mess and I don't know but Italian bureaucracy is really a mess so I really need to de-stress and can't wait to my husband to come back because I really need a hug today <laughs> Guys, instead of a smoothie, it turns out to be a really good ice cream. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wait for Jorge to come back home and we're gonna share this. Let's gonna check our pizza. Ooh. <laughs> We're gonna preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. So with 500 grams of flour, I made three pizzas. Now we're gonna take a fork and we're gonna Then in this little thing, we are gonna put our tomatoes. Then we're gonna put some olive oil. I'm gonna eyeball this one. And a pinch of salt. Two pinch of salt. <laughs> and now I'm gonna blend it. Hi again. Now we're gonna take our tomato sauce and we're gonna spread it over our pizza. Now just a little bit more of olive oil because we are in Italy. <laughs> and another pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna add this um, oregano And now we are ready to put this in the oven and meanwhile they cook I will cut the mozzarella and I almost forgot, but if you want to add some ingredients has uh, vegetables meat uh, you can add it now before to put it in the oven like so they can cook um, all together with the pizza uh, the important thing is that generally we add the, all of the cheeses um, when it's almost done So now I add the salami and the mozzarella cheese. I don't remember if I showed you before, but before put it in the oven, I also add chili flakes. Let's go back in the oven for five minutes. So guys, we finished our pizza. It was delicious. And now I'm gonna drink my tea and I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to bed. And if you're gonna try to make this pizza, please write it in the comments down below or on my Instagram. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I will see you super soon with the next one.
Bye, guys.